Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to one of our weekly Q&A live streams. Well, you know what happens, we sit here, we catch up on Celtic, we talk about Celtic and you guys get your questions in about Celtic. We just have a wee bit of a chin wag. It's always fun and it's the only one I'll get doing this week. The whole reason I decided why not do it tonight is because I'm away on Thursday. I'm off to the US of A, off to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. For WrestleMania, I, I'm buzzing, to say the least. But I can't neglect my fans. I can't neglect you folk before I go. And uh, I thought that a wee live stream tonight would be a good way to catch up following on from Celtics win yesterday against Livingston. Of course, this is it now. This is, oh, talking about America, by the way. Love that. Tune in from Florida. Love that, Edward. Love that. Um, Yeah, it's Derby Week. We're here. We have arrived in which must be the most important derby since before the liquidation of Rangers, I would say. In my eyes, it is. This is a game that if Celtic don't avoid losing, I think it could be detrimental to our league title hopes. Rangers would, would have the opportunity to go, what, five clear if they beat Dundee the following Wednesday, if they were to beat us this week. I don't want to talk about Rangers beating us. You know, I don't want to harvest that negative energy. But this is a huge game. This is the most important game for Celtic that we've had in a long, long time. It's the most important derby that we've seen since, I don't know, 2010, 2011, probably. Um, there is a lot riding on this game. And there's so much to talk about. So derby week is going to be fun on the channel. We're going to have this stream tonight. We're going to have the podcast being recorded on Wednesday. I'll pre-record my Start My Living predictions to go out um, on Friday um, while I'm away. So you've got me till Thursday, but don't worry. Um, there will be a podcast pre-recorded uploaded on Thursday. There will be a video pre-recorded uploaded on Friday. And I will have my camera. I will have the equipment to do my post-match reaction from the hotel room on Sunday morning. So I will, I will be here. Keep your eye out on content. I don't want to neglect the content. I don't want to neglect the viewers. This is going to be huge. And whether it's win, lose or draw, I need to talk about that game. I want to talk about that game. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be talking about winning the game. So we have a lot to cover and we'll try and get round to it as the week goes on. Tonight we're going to try and discuss a wee bit of the game yesterday, maybe foreshadowing a little bit of what's happening on Sunday, and um, obviously get the questions and answers. And I see a lot of you asking questions already and, and getting stuff in. Uh, don't worry, I will not be neglecting you tonight. We'll be getting on to that. I'll try and get to it as quickly as possible. I need to sneeze. Trying to hold back a sneeze desperately here, and I don't think I'm going to be able... Is it gone? Is it gone? I think it's gone. There we go. Thank you for tuning in. We've got uh, we've got William tuning in from the Sunny Coat Bridge after some sh shouts of Florida and, and Mexico City. Um, so I we've we've got a lot to talk about, and I will get on to the, the, the questions soon. Yesterday was good for Celtic. A 3-0 win at the Tony Macaroni. And a new signing for Celtic. A signing that I wasn't aware we made. I mean, I was there yesterday. I was at the Tony Macaroni. I was sitting uh, as close as you can get to the park and I didn't realise that we had a new centre-half. This is who I'm talking about. Um, so it was a lot to be positive. I made a couple of wee tweets. I thought Teddy and the first half kept dropping in and then it gave Carter Vickers and John Stones a, an easy option. Just went tight with him, whereas the space was down the channels. I, one more, one more time. Just did we hear him correctly? Um, so it was a lot to be positive. I made a couple of wee tweets. I thought Teddy in the first half kept dropping in, and then it gave Carter Vickers and John Stones a, an easy option. Just went tight with him, whereas the space was down the channels. When did we sign John Stones? <laughs> what is Martin Dale smoking? That's what I want to know. I don't. I know it's a slip of the tongue, um, and he's maybe meant to say Johnston instead of John Stones, but holy Christ, <laughs> I, I, I wonder if it's one, of, I want to know, I wish they kept the cameras rolling, because it's that way where I feel like they would have went, you know, cut, and they would have went, did I say John Stones there, John St don't get me wrong, John Stones, a phenomenal football player, one of the best centre halves in the world in my humble opinion, I would love to have him at Celtic, but uh, quite the mix up, David, Martin Bale, Martin Bale, Martin Dale, Martin Dale, Martin Dale, Martin Dale. Martin Dale. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Martin Dale. Quite the mix-up. John Stones, not a, not a Celtic player. 
not a Celtic player, as as far as I'm aware. But a funny slip of the tongue, nonetheless. It got everybody talking following the game yesterday. Um, John Stones was not in the Celtic team, I can assure you that. But he, we did win, we did play well. Um, and I was happy with what I seen of Celtic yesterday. I feel like the performances from Celtic have been gradually getting better as the weeks have went on um, from that Livingston game in the cup. I know that we were really poor at Tyne Castle, granted we were down to 10 men and, and, and obviously we weren't uh, well placed to go to Tyne Castle and win following that red card, but from that game we have kicked on and we've played some decent football, we've, we've scored some goals, we've looked more entertaining I would say and yesterday wasn't the perfect performance I think first half there was still a lot of question marks but you know we've seen how much we played how much better we played in the second half and I was just happy with overall what I've seen now you can watch my match reaction that went up late last night to get the whole full in breakdown of it but yeah I, you know Rio Hitate being back is is absolutely massive and both, ha you know, we have such a dilemma on our hands when it comes to the derby at the weekend because who is the midfield three? I think that, you know, Callum McGregor coming back, he's the captain, he's a shoe in to play. But Tomoki Awata, I think, has been brilliant. And I think he was good yesterday again. I thought him in front of that back line once more with Hitati, you know, right ahead of him, played really well. Hitati's obviously came back in. He started for a reason. To me, that indicates that we are going to see him start at Ibrooks on Sunday. And then, obviously, Matt O'Reilly is... Yeah, he's not been on form uh, the last couple of months, but he's, his quality is is too good to drop and especially in a game against Rangers I think that he's just too good a player not to have in the park I think realistically you're looking at the scenario of Tomoki Awata being dropped he will be I think I think it's if you're just using your sense your common sense in your brain it, it, that would indicate to you that the midfield three is probably going to be McGregor, uh, McGregor Hitati and O'Reilly which is fair enough but you know Awata will be so hard done by not getting the start if he doesn't because he's been brilliant and he, he's, he's really not put a foot wrong um, but you know he's a solid backup to have if he needs to come on for McGregor if he's feeling anything in his leg if he's feeling any of these injuries acting up he's a good player to come off the park but we are well placed going into this game I mean you, you can imagine where we could have been heading into this game with some of the results and some of the performances that we've had this season we could have headed to Ibrox in a really negative place instead I'm not going to come out here and say that I'm confident of Celtic winning the game. I'm quietly confident. I'm confident in my team being able to go there and do the job. I don't think it's a guaranteed Celtic win by any stretch of the imagination, but I am certainly in a far more optimistic place than I could have been at many other points throughout this season. Nicholas Kuhn, I thought he was brilliant yesterday. He's once again, just like, you know, we talked about players growing and getting better. He's getting better. He's been playing better. And, and it, since that, once again, that Livingston game in the Cup, and there was an, an interesting interview with Nicholas Kuhn talking about how uh, an illness actually affected the start to his Celtic career. He was ill when he first arrived at the club and first started playing. His comments along the lines were, I had some problems in the beginning. I, I talked a lot about it with my teeth and I didn't have pre-season because we had winter break in Austria. But now I'm starting to get better and I'm finding my form and I'm happy. Uh, in the beginning, of course, it was a big deal because normally I'm like 70 kilo and when I came here, I was 63 or something. So I did didn't even want to know what it was before. Um, so yeah, some form of illness that, that held back Nicholas Kuhn affecting him physically, probably mentally as well. But you can see how much better he's been playing in recent weeks. And I, once again, I, I want to make this point very uh, abundantly clear. I don't think that Nicholas Kuhn by any means is this fantastic, amazing solve to the winger issues and he's got to be the best right winger I've ever seen. Who knows? He could be. I'm not ruling that out either. But what I am saying is at least we're seeing evidence that there is a player there now. I really like what I can see of him. I, I was sitting on that, that right wing in the first half and he was right in front of me and there was just a lot of a lot of good things being done for me from Nicholas Kuhn. I just think that generally when you look at that you stretch the game across the 90 minutes, we looked like a far better and far more well-drilled team. And I think there's been evidence of that in the past few games. So for me, we're definitely heading into Ibrox in a much better place. I'm excited for the game. It's going to be a nervous an occasion. Of course it is. And, and obviously if you lose the game, it's a disaster. And I guess that's the beauty of football, and I guess that's the beauty of following Celtic. You're in it for the drama, you're in it for the, the kind of ups and downs, and not just the ups. So, it will be a nervous watch, but I'm looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And as the Celtic fans were singing at the end of the game, bring on the Rangers. It's, it's these kind of games that determine who should be champions. And whether Rangers win or not, and if we win or not, it's going to make an entertaining end for the season. So... 
Aye. Um, happy with what I've seen. I think a, a few individuals deserve some real credit. I think that Alistair Johnson as well has been looking a lot better in recent weeks. You, you notice the difference with Vickers being in the side. God, Taylor's even been better. Um, I think the one thing that I just want is Kyogo back to scoring week in, week out, if that's possible. But Rangers is the kind of games we know he loves to score in. I think it's an easier game for him to score in as well. Um, I think when you're up against teams who actually do come out a little bit more and they aren't playing as tight net at the back, that's when Kyogo thrives, that's when he plays his best. That's why we see him score in Europe and that's why we see him score um, against Rangers because it's a more open game and that suits him more. So I'm excited. Um, I'm hopefully going to be backed up in my comments. But Brendan Rodgers will be back on the touchline. Keep that in mind. His suspension is over for now um, until I think the further uh, recommendation is given forward. Um, obviously, it was maybe a two-match ban. It turned into a one-match ban, one of them being suspended till a further date. Um, as far as we're aware, but Brendan Rodgers will be in the touchline and hopefully they've got the tactics and such spot on. It's going to be a very interesting game to try and pick the start in the 11 because I think there's a few places up for grabs, a few places that are up for discussion and, and we'll obviously talk about that as the week goes on. But aye, last trip to the Tony Macaroni, by the way. We're going to get the Q&A in a minute because I've been yapping for like 10 minutes. Um, but that's it. That'll be me. No more Tony Macaroni, the one away game that I easily get tickets for. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to pick up the odd one that's a spare for, you know, your Firth Parks or St. Johnson or whatever. But that was the one guarantee and it's gone now. But I'm glad it's gone. You know, if you've been there, you're, Christ, you don't even need to be there. You can see it in the telly, for God's sake. I'm hardly stating a, a, an obscure fact. But just every time you go and you look at that park, it's an absolute joke that it's a top flight football pitch. It's an absolute joke that it's actually allowed, uh, it's a terrible surface, it's a terrible place to play football, um, but I will miss the Chiquitos pre-match pints, I will miss the guaranteed away ticket, I'll miss the day out. Livingston, thank you, see you later. Right, should we get into the, um, should we get into the uh, Q&A portion of the show, because as I said, I've been, I've been yapping, I've been absolutely yapping, so feel free to, to get your questions. In terms of other news, before I, quickly, very quickly, before I get into, um, more or, or, or your questions or more of this stream I'm just going to quickly check I don't think that there's any other stories to pick up on from the last 24 hours since we last spoke on the channel um uh, you know it's all very kind of quiet at the minute it's that way where I think that the storm is brewing ahead of Sunday we'll be waiting patiently for Brendan Rodgers updates on on fitness issues injury issues to see what the state of the side is going into the game on Sunday um, but I, I think that the, the blueprints have been laid out, I think we should know what to expect and there's no really any other news out there at the moment um, thank you to Liam who's donated, thank you I appreciate that, um, says Celtic will win against Rangers, moon the hoops love the confidence, absolutely and I appreciate the donation, remember you can donate if you choose to, it's in the super chat section of the, the, the live chat, but should we do it then, should we get in a QA? and a remember, if you, yeah, oh come on Aye, come on, more likes get us on to recommended if you haven't already, go down below, hit both like and subscribe, but especially that like button. You know, it helps out massively. 250 viewers and only 13 of you have pressed it. I thought you enjoyed the content, man. If you like it, like it. Yeah, I'm joking, right? But like it if you could, thanks. Um, what happened to Palmer coming back? He wasn't due back for the Livingston game. The, the talk was in the press conference on Friday that he would be back for Rangers. So I, 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 I'm awaiting, we're waiting for the update, but he wasn't due back for Livingston. I said that in the match preview video as well, that he wouldn't be back to Rangers. So yeah, he should be hopefully in the on the bench um, for the trip to, to Ibrooks. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Look, listen, let them be confident. They're really confident. I mean, you know, if they win their game in hand or top of the league at the end of the day, this is the best place, this is the best position they've been in with a, a crowd going into a derby game in a long, long time. So let them be confident. It's, you know, we see this story time and time again. However, just need to wait to see what the full-time result is, I suppose. Um, oh, I've not, I, yeah, I've still got to do my video on that, actually. I've not picked yet. I know who I'm going to pick, but I'm not going to spoil it because I'll do a video on it and I might do that tomorrow if there's no news because I want to discuss a lot of the, the categories and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, Cal says, how is Martin Dale a manager? Just seems like a guy you'd see at four corners asking for a light. Yeah. It, look, listen, I'll give Martin Dale his, his credit where it's due because he's done a remarkable job with Livingston, consistently shooting well above the expectations for a club of their size on their budget. He does deserve credit for that. I think in, the, the, in recent years, though, there's been, not years, the, the last year, 
I think that he's kind of been showing up for the, the reason why he's maybe not been given an opportunity in a bigger job. And I mean that with all due respect, but just some of the media handling and other wee things, I think it's maybe shone through a little bit more why maybe a, a bigger club hasn't taken a gamble on him yet. I think that once he's done at Livingston, he will get another job. It's just a question of what is the level of said job. Um, Christ, and will he go to them and try and punt all other players? That's the question, because that's what he seems to do in press conferences. Thank you, Beam. Thank you, Beam88. It says, were you watching the game? Uh, full confidence, to be honest. I was watching the game. I'm confident. Thank you for the donation, but I was watching the game. Oh, where, oh, sorry, where are you watching the game? Oh, sorry, I <laughs> we said, where are you watching the game? Oh, well, aye, aye, my bad, my bad. Where am I watching the game? What, the Rangers game? Uh, probably in my bed in the hotel room. So this is the thing, I've seen somebody asking at the top of the stream, are you going to go to, like, a Celtic pub or a supporters club? And I know that there is a supporters club there that, you know, put the games on. Sorry for misunderstanding your question, being my bad, I'm a bit stupid, you know that. Um, but the, the thing is, there's only two of us going. I'm going with my mate Scott. Shout out to Scott. Who supports them? So that's going to be an entertaining moment. Um, he's not a Celtic man. He's a he's a Rangers man. So it'll be a tense moment watching the game. But I'm not going to go to one of the pubs myself at seven in the morning. I just feel like it's a a, a bad idea. Um, I'm not too bob. I don't really want to drink at that time in the morning. So I'm just going to watch it in the hotel room and, and try and streamcast it onto the TV or something. Um, because I, I would love to, have, you know, if I was with another Celtic fan, I would have definitely went out somewhere and, and soaked up some atmosphere, but I, I'm not going to head around myself. I'm very socially awkward like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. What's your thoughts on Rogers next? God, there's a lot of questions coming in. God, if, it, if I don't answer, please feel free to pile them in. You know I try my best. Thoughts on Rogers next season in Europe if he gets financially backed after this year's horror show? I'll say the same as what I say every year, Gig. Wait till the draw. I'm not even going to predict because, you know, we could if next year we get eight games, but we could draw seven stinkers. You know what I mean? We could get Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Chelsea. Well, no, Chelsea. Uh, Man City, Arsenal. You know, you never know what draw we're going to get. So we'll wait and see, but he does need back. He does need back. Patrick Leonard. Hello. Happening, Ryan. Saw you yesterday. Are you worried about Kyogo's scoring form or do you think he'll come good on Sunday? Yeah, I don't know if you tuned in late, but my, my brief thoughts are I think that the Dangers games are a lot better for Kyogo. When the game's more open, I think that he's a lot, he's definitely d better and more dangerous. So, I'm, look, listen, it doesn't worry me. Um, and I know that we've got Ida to come off the bench as well, who's scored some goals since coming in. So, I'm, I'm not overly concerned, but I would like him to return to scoring week in, week out. You know what I mean? I would absolutely love that. Um, but we've just got to see. Um, hopefully, it, hopefully it does well. Bring back Mostro Clothing. God, that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Um, Sm is that who does he play for again? Sammy Smodix. Is it Blackburn or something? I don't really have any thoughts. Is that there is? There's a so you all know Hamish, of course. Hamish went to Philadelphia a couple of years ago, and he watched a game uh, in a bar over there. It was a Celtic supporters club. And uh, he recommended I go there, but I, I'm not going to get going. As I said, it's, listen, I'm not, I'm not that fussed anyway, because you know I'll be at WrestleMania the night before. I'll be absolutely burnt out and knackered, so I'm not really fussed about waking up at six, seven in the morning to try and find my way or stumble my way into a bar when I can watch it for the comfort of my bed and my phone. Um, but there is, there is Celtic bars in Philadelphia. Celtic bars everywhere. We all know that biggest club in the world, lads. Um, watch the yep, yep, exactly. Bed, bed's the place to be. Bed's the place to be. Um, no, there's definitely no future for Lager Belka. I, I'm pretty confident in saying that. I think we'll see him leave the club in, club in the summer. Uh, that's the one. That's it. Smell the glove. That's the one I've been recommended. Plowing Stars. That's the one Hamish told me to go to. Um, but I sadly won't make it. Thank you, though, for letting me know the name. Who knows? Maybe things. Maybe plans will arise. Last. Maybe we'll meet some Celtic fans. Who knows? Maybe. Um, why is Kobayashi still here? Well, his move that uh, was rejected, uh, we rejected his move that was apparently going to get loaned back to Japan in March, and uh, the Celtic, the club, rejected it for, for some reason. So, um, aye, very, very, very strange. Um, aye, that's it, Blackburn, that's right, scored two today, wow. Okay, fair enough. Sign, sign him up, Celtic. Thank you, Ian. Um, I love you, mate. Thank you for joining in. I love it when you're arriving. Ian Fleming, five pounds. Thank you. Hi, Ryan. What do you think about Drew McIntyre saying Rangers will smash Celtic? I used to like him as well. Ah, listen, he's a Rangers man. He's going to be confident in his team. Um, I will be sadly cheering Drew on Sunday, even after his comments, because I desperately want to see him win the World Heavyweight Championship. But um, 
we'll, we'll, I'll have my Celtic top on. Look, for, lads, if you are watching WrestleMania, I'm aiming to be that guy. I want to be, do you know, every year, right, if you're a wrestling fan, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Every year, you look for that one person in the crowd with a Celtic top. And since I was about eight years old, it has been my dream. It has been my absolute dream to be that guy in the Celtic shirt that you watch and go, there's a Celtic top. That's going to be me on Sunday. I'm wearing the Celtic top on the Sunday. I'm going to both nights, but Saturday I'll be wearing my CM Punk gear. You know, I've got a rep. Um, but the Sunday I'll be wearing my Celtic top. If you see it, if you see the hoops, it might be me. <laughs> there might be a couple, who knows, but it might be me, so keep an eye out. But uh, look, listen, I love Drew. I do, and I know he's a Rangers man, but I'm not that petty, to be quite honest. Um, I love him. He's fucking brilliant, and I hope he wins on Sunday. I'll be cheering him. Even... Unless, if, if we lose, then I might boo him. Who knows? Um, thank you for the donation, though, Ian. I really do appreciate it. Um, <laughs> even if he's from my hometown. God, the Ayrshire boys are letting their man down here. Um, yeah, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I've got, I've got plans. I've got plans. Right, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Somebody, somebody saying, who's Drew McIntyre? Uh, Ryan, forget, what's this? Ryan, forget spurts, Ian. What do you think of Matthews? Oh god, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I'm not a scout, I have no idea. Is that out right? So, are we getting linked with Ed, Edward Spertsian? I first I've heard of that. Is that an April Fool's? Or is that true? I've seen a lot of people bringing up his fucking name, but I've <laughs> never heard of the fella. Um, let's see, calling it now. Rangers nil, Celtic 2. Game finished early. Three points, hours. Titles, hours. Hans Tears will reign over Glasgow. Nice, I've just dropped the H-bomb. Wow, pills from me. Um, not live on camera. Do I watch the darts? I love the darts. Uh, any plans for F1 trips? Not this year, maybe next year. Um, no, he's, oh, he's definitely not got the Ayrshire accent. No, it's an Americanized one, but he's from here, isn't he? He's from here, Scott. From here, Scotland. Yep, he's from here. Doesn't sound like it, I know. Uh, Ryan, if you were Celtic manager, how much transfer money would you demand from the board? Uh, I don't know, 50 million? <laughs> Fucking mail on that. He's mail. Uh, I don't know. Tons. I would want. I would want tons. That's what I would want. Um, am I planning any tattoos? Listen. Uh, maybe one day. There is certain initials that I could get tattooed in certain body parts. Um, that you know. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Tattoo in Philadelphia. Should I do that? I may get CM Punk tattooed on me. Just a big mural of him on my fucking arm. I do, I, I, be, I keep going back and forth about tattoos, I can't believe we're talking about fucking tattoos, cheers Emma, um, I kind of go back and forth between the idea of tattoos, and it's just the thought of having one for the rest of my life, and I'm like, ah, I don't know, anyway, do you think McCarthy, uh, what do you think will happen, do you think will happen with McCarthy, God, can I read, do you think will happen with McCarthy in the summer, has it been in the squad, what do you, oh, what do you think will happen with him, um, Probably stay until the end of his contract and get more money whenever that actually is. Uh, Murray says, do you think it's more must win or more must not lose on Sunday, Ryan? Sounds obvious and the boring thing to say, but as always with these games, comes down to who wants it more and who has that desire. I'm hoping that our experience of being serial winners shows through and the, the, the experience of Rangers being serial losers show through. Um, that's what I'm personally hoping for. But uh, listen... I would, ha you might not agree with me, right, but I'll say it now, I would be happy with a draw, I would, a win is obviously what I want, but if the game ends as 0-0 or 1-1 each, I would be okay with it, so for me it's kind of more must not lose, because I'm confident we'll beat them at Celtic Park, um, but obviously a win would be fantastic, magnificent, and that's what I want, I'm just saying if the game was to end a draw at the weekend, I wouldn't be overly upset. Listen, no matter what happens on Sunday, I'm not going to be that upset because I'm going to be out at fucking WrestleMania. So, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I genuinely, I would, I would, I would like the, I would, I would like to see us just not lose the game this time round. To be quite honest, get the Pepsi tattoo. Yes, if I go to the Rocky Steps. I will. I'll make my way to the Rocky Steps. I've got. To, I can't because this will probably be the only time in my life that I go there. Um, a question about Scottish independence being asked. Didn't realise that would be tonight. I need to start the politics channel for that one. Um, James McCarthy versus Mick McCarthy discuss I'm going Mick every day of the week Mick's a hard man I love Mick McCarthy um, let's see 
God, a lot of talk about Scottish independence in the chat. One one comment is actually making me kind of giggle, even though it shouldn't. Um, seven year contract and McCarthy is an Irish Celtic fan. Yeah, well, I mean, don't put it past Desmond. I mean, God, you you wouldn't be you wouldn't be uh, you wouldn't be stunned, would you? Um, did I? <laughs> let's see. I want. I like, I'll, let's get some more questions. I was in filling two thousand two. Great city. I'm excited. Very jealous. Very jealous of you. Smell the gob. Um, right, I'm going to look up this fella. Who is this? Am I going to find a porn star or something? Is this like a, a, a group of friends? Uh, Ed, what's his name? I'm typing it in as we speak. Um, if I get porn on my screen, I'll be absolutely fucking fuming. Sperps. Yin. Oh, he's a footballer. Uh, yep, he is a footballer. Let's have a look at him. So we are getting linked with this fella. He plays for Krasnodar in the Russian Premier League. Uh, this season, 20 appearances, 8 goals and 5 assists. What is he? Is he a striker? No, he's an attack. He's a winger slash attacking midfielder. Um, let's have a look at his stats. Let's see. Is this an actual thing? Is he being proper? Is this just some nonsense that is that is kind of um, cropped up? He's an attacking midfielder. 161 starts from attacking midfield. 52 goals and 37 assists. By the way, seems no bad. 23 years of age from Russia. Um, are we going to have to announce him as from, like, parts unknown because he's Russian? Is that how it's going to work? Like, the, in the statement, would they just refer to him as the, the winger from parts unknown? Because I thought we like, banned Russia. Um, he's played in the Champions League, played in the Premier, the Russian Premier League for a, a good amount of time now as well. Um, okay. I'll need to do some research on it and see if it's actually a real thing and if there's anything, any depth to it. But, aye, it looks as though he's a decent player, right enough. Not going to lie. Um... Let's see. We did sign Kuasi from them. We did. Remember when Krasnodar used to be in the Champions League quite often? They were a good team about 10 years ago. Um, hello, Dylan. Good to see you, my man. He says, Mania fought in the Glasgow Derby is one of the best Sundays of all time. Absolutely. Can he wait? Um, let's see. Somebody said they can't hear me. Hello. Hope you did. Hope you heard that. Uh, Favourite Beatle? Mine's has always been John. I'm a John guy through and through. I fucking love John. But I love Paul. I love them all. I love all four of them. I love George. I love Ringo. But John's always been mine. Yes, he might be the most controversial of the four, but I've just I just love John. I do. Live Celtic podcast like the overlap. Hmm. Maybe. Who knows? One day. One day. Uh what are we on? Twenty seven minutes. Let's get a few three hundred viewers, by the way. That's mad for a Monday night. A bank holiday. I hope everybody's had a nice Easter. Let's try and battle through some more questions. What's happened to the FM save? It'll it'll come and go. It's not a full time thing. It was just to give us something to talk about during the international break, really. Uh, <laughs> sign Phil Foden for Sunday since we have John Stones. Can we listen to it one more time because it's fucking hilarious? And then I'll get some more questions. One more. Um. So it was a lot to be positive. I made a couple of wee tweets. I thought Tate and the false half kept dropping in, and then it gave Carter Vickers and John Stones an easy option. Just went tight with him, whereas the space was down the channels. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Citizen Mikey says, what the fuck has happened to Big O? Think Kyogo and O up front together would be good on Sunday. I'd rather Kyogo need a, personally, if we were to play two up front. But we're not going to play two up front, so there's not even a point of conversation. But what has happened to O? Well, he's just simply not delivered. Um, and it's as simple as that. I mean, well, I think his chances now, until he leaves Celtic, will be few and far between. I really worry about his future at Celtic, but I, I I would love to see it work out for him. I'd love to see it turn around. So hopefully, if he gets the chances, then you know he would he would um you know he would take them. But you know he's just not took enough, has he? Um, oh, that was a snooze fest, Murray. By the way, a terrible, terrible game. Somebody saying get all out. Very blunt. Very, very, very blunt. Actually, did, no. Did, did Rangers not get one as well when they won the league during COVID? I'm sure they did. I'm going to... I need to look this up. Or, they, or, or Triple H at least tweeted them. And I was like, what's that about? We've just won the league fucking nine years in a row and we never got one. Thank you. Let's see. Rangers. Did they get one? I feel like they did. They fucking did. Unless they bought a replica themselves and said that they, you know, they... Oh, it'll, do you know why? Because it would have been because of Drew. Of course. That's right. Because both of them won titles during fucking COVID. Aye. Aye, there you go. Aye, it was from Drew. Aye, it was Drew that got them it. Aye, so th we need Joe Coffey or something to go and win the the, the, t the title the title or something like that. We need Joe or Wolfgang or Mark Coffey. One of them need to do it. Um, or Seamus has had his chances. He's not done it yet. Um, aye. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ida is clear. We don't need O. Yes. I agree. <laughs> nah, I don't want to be too harsh. I don't want to be too harsh. Um, let's see. What else can we get? I think O is a good player. He's just not been getting chances. He's a great player. Still think he has a future at the club. I hope so. I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd love for every Celtic player that we sign to have a future and do something. It's just not been always luck, has it? Really? I think that's just the honest truth. Uh, let's do a couple more very quickly. Let's see. Uh, somebody saying Sinclair or Jota. Jota. I did love Sinclair. But if it was, you're saying in terms of pure, and they'll use the phrase, beating Rangers. <laughs> Maybe Sinclair. I don't know. Jota. I'm going Jota. I loved Sinclair. Absolutely loved him. But I'm, I'm going Jota. Um, Gallus boys on top indeed smell the glove. Um, aye. Right. I think we'll wrap it up there. I think that'll do us, because we're hitting 32 minutes. By the way, we're 320 viewers live in the channel. It's absolutely tremendous. By the way, I'll answer this one for a go. The X19. X19. No hassle with X19. You're right in the motorway. Boom. You're where you are. You're east end to the tune like that. Boom. Sorted. X19. Easy. Um, right, thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, it'll probably be the last live stream I have until I'm back from Philadelphia. So, um, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the Monday. No, I'll, I'll be making videos and there will be a podcast. So, so don't worry. Uh, you'll have all your Derby updates. You'll have all your um, all your news. You'll have all my opinions. You'll, need, you'll have it all. So, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I am going somewhere. I'm going to America. But, aye. Thank you for tuning in tonight, ladies and gents. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. God bless, and I'll see you all.